Hello Geometry Box players. This is the second video of me playing Geometry Box. Today I'll show you my speedrun. Wait, you wanted to see the second part of my Let's Play where I visited Shadow and Lava Realms before beating the game? Well, hopefully it won't take long. On to the Shadow Realm. What can it offer? Collecting mesmerizing shadow shards. While avoiding dangerous hazards those shoot even more of them. Come here Shadow Pick. Or is it a hammer? It's hard to tell. Fear me, Shadow Spikes. Your days of reckoning are counted. <laughs> Alright I am done with my evil laugh. One Shadow Cave coming right up. Oh wait, I got something. So, I'm back in the mine, swinging pick from side to side, hope to find some shadow shards for a potion. Alongside this knee wrench slash decorator. Looks like a surprise tool that will help me later, but for now, let's stop messing around. It's time to move to the underground. It's been four realms since I left Jumper Land. Wonder what lies below the colorful 1.0 tiles. There can't be nothing there. It's surely very, very interesting. Wait, I've just noticed something. These tiles got their unique names too. Turns out this land is made of yummy waffle tiles. A dream of a sweet tooth came true. Hold on. Why are these particular tiles unbreakable? Oh, it might be a game bug. No problemo macro, I'll dig another way down. I see some volcanic tiles buried in stone. Can this be the remaining lava realm? Yes, I am not Nethuron. Hooray, my first lava shards. Look and feel really hot. Let's uncover more tiles for lava shards to grow on. This place seems more peaceful than other realms I've visited. Ouch, now I get it. That's because I am digging around the realm, all danger is located inside of it. But I can't just leave these shards uncollected. Great. Now I am ready to dive inside the actual realm. Uh oh. Look at all those unreachable stealth spikes those I can't take revenge on yet. That's it, I take my words back. This is not peaceful at all. Although I am impressed of this interesting choice to place this realm below everything. I can't stop being amazed of this game. Tada um, got the lava pick, rest in peace spikes now. Cue the obnoxious laugh, I am just kidding. Oh wait, I've completely forgotten about bonus shards. Yeah, they are in this game too. Infinite speed? Doubt I need that. The amount of bonus ones is the minimum among others. In my case it's poison. That's what I need, an ultimate potion that will make me invincible. Guess I have to return to the surface to collect the remaining shards of other kinds. This may take a while. Got enough for the potion. And several minutes later for the pick as well. Now I can dig further into the ground. Are these club step and 1.0 tiles? What happens if I dig into the void? Wow, so that's how you beat the world. Well, this was an interesting journey. I hope you enjoyed it too as well as my let's play in general, although, it could have been way shorter if I had tried speedrunning it, and that's exactly what I tried next.
We're speed running now. We are speed run boys. Speed run boys, let's go! During past few days I've been practicing speed running of this game and got pretty good at it. This is one of the best attempts I could achieve with my crooked, quivering claws I prefer to call hands. The time starts ticking while I am sliding to the fire realm at the speed of light, I mean, a snail. Throughout this run the hotbar has to be kept clean to save time on changing slots. For this run it's required to get 48 of each fire, ice, poison, shadow shards and 24 lava ones to shape all hammers excluding lava one. Sometimes it's better to crash into a spike and respawn to save time on sliding to the center of the world. While you do so, shape hammers, saving time. Placing waffles above spikes makes it easier to navigate and dodge saw blades. When you get an ice hammer, move to the poison realm immediately. To collect the remaining 24 ice shards use poison hammer, since it's faster. It's time to collect shards, but don't forget that 48 poison shards are needed. Ready to move on? Crash into Spike and slide to the Shadow Realm. This one, as well as Lava Realm, are the most dangerous in a speedrun, since their spikes can subtract 100 HP in one hit, leading to time and nerves loss. Here. That's what I was talking about. So annoying. and I got crashed again. This death message fits the situation amazingly. While you are in the shadow realm, be sure to collect additional fire shards. Here it comes, my final destination. Well, almost have to collect lava shards first. As you can see, I haven't collected the necessary amount of ice and poison shards, so I had to make a little farm, which cost time. Luckily, this is my last death in this run. Good chance to dig a faster descending path to the realm. And just like that, the run is completed in 18 minutes and 20 seconds. Of course the footage had to be sped up to save your time now, but you can follow the link in the description to see the unedited version of the run that actually took 15 and a half minutes.
I hope you enjoyed this video as much as part 1, as well as the dance of my fingers on keyboard and mouse throughout this run. Thank you so much for your likes and comments below the previous part, I didn't expect such activity to happen. Another thank you for watching, Haven Geist done.